Where are you? Yeah, you gotta be right in the sunlight. Alright, so what we're looking at here. I don't even know if you see him. He's over here somewhere. What you're looking at right there, looking. F see him right there? Okay, that's called a carpenter bee. And what they do is they chew these perfectly round holes in the wood of your decks and your attics of your house. Eventually, those holes will cause the wood to rot. Okay. And you see how he's looking for a hole? Or she? And if they don't find a hole, she'll just drill a hole. And it's dr perfectly round, like a drill bit. Try to get you up close on them. I want you to see what they look like so you can identify them and get rid of them as fast as possible because they will absolutely destroy your house. Worse than carpenter ants. Okay, that's what they look like. They got a smooth little belly. They don't have stingers, but they do got jaws that will bite. Okay. And what I do is I take my hat, like you see here, and I whack him. Or I hit him with my hand if I can get him. But see, like right here? See, I whacked him. Usually I hit him, I knock him to the ground, and then once I do that, I can kill him. The reason why they're bad is because they will literally chew holes into the wood of your house, eventually undermining the structural integrity of your deck or your house or your beams or whatever they decide to drill in. They make these colonies inside the wood. So it looks like one hole. And here's one here. I'll show you what it looks like. I can't see it in the lens per se, but I'm pretty sure you could see it. There it is. You see that perfectly round drill hole? That's what they do. They make a hole and then they drill up and down inside the wood, hollowing it out so they can make the nest and eventually what they do what eventually what happens is that wood starts to get dry rotted and wet because it's all the way inside and it loses its structural integrity and then you have a serious problem you have a structural issue and whenever I see these things I try to kill them and as much as I don't want to hurt another creature I have no choice because I'm not going to have a house to live in and these things are extremely prominent up here Here's another one up here where it did some damage the beginning of it. You could see where it started drilling the hole and then it stopped. He decided to move away for some reason. So these things don't care if it's pressure treated wood or regular wood. They don't care if they're just going to drill these holes and they're going to destroy whatever it is, including trees and everything else. So whenever I see them, I have to exterminate them because they are extremely bad around your structure. In fact, that's one of the things that when you're selling your house, home inspectors, that's one of the things they look for. And if they see too many of those holes, they're going to make put it on a report that there's evidence of carpenter bee damage. And you're going to have to get your structure inspected for integrity and safety and everything. And that may or may not allow your house to sell, for example. So if somebody's paying for a home inspector and they find these carpenter bee damage, they might turn around and say, oh, you're going to have to get this uh, checked to see if you may have to change this beam because of these carpenter bees. Now, I could bring you up on my deck. I could show you about a dozen places where holes they made in my new deck. My old deck was destroyed. That's why it was replaced. See that deck up there? All underneath, there's areas around there where there's drill holes. I kill them off. I spray the holes filled with chemicals. Uh, next year, they come back. It's the same thing. So, just wanted to show you what they look like. And, you know, I had one in here. It's a good opportunity for me to film it. Hopefully, it showed up on a camera pretty good. And I also wanted to show you the holes. Their holes are really hard to see. You kind of have to look for them. But eventually, uh, you will find them. And if you do find them, it's not like you have to fill them or anything. That's not going to really help it. But definitely spray some uh, bee killer and wops killer into that hole. Fill that thing up with a chemical so no other insects can make nests in there. 
and that's it. That's about the, all you can do. And if it keeps getting worse year in and year out, they keep drilling holes through it, well, eventually you're going to have to change that piece of wood, which could become a very costly expense if you let it go. So check. If you see these things around your property, if you see carpenter bees around there, you better look. You better start taking act to it because they can cause you a lot of damage. Don't ignore it. I used to just think it was cute because they fly. These carpenter bees have a very distinct behavior. They like to come at you. Like if you go anywhere near where their hole is that they just made in your deck, if you get too close to it, they start like dive bombing you and they fly around your head. They get in your face. They don't sting you, but they just irritate you and you think that they're going to scare you off. So I swan, they, they're not going to sting you. So you can hit them with the back of your hand, you know, whap. I whack them like that or I take my hat off and I whack them and I get them to the ground and I step on them. But if you see them, you better start doing something about it and find out where their nest is and fill that nest up, fill that hole up with, because I'm telling you now, they destroyed the last deck that I had. I had to rebuild the deck because it was pretty much starting to get loose and wobbly, kind of, because, because of the damage from them and carpenter ants and things like that. But they were contributing to the damage. So now when I see them come around, and that's all built with pressure-treated lumber, and they're still drilling holes in it. So it's, you're going to have to just be proactive if you're in an area where, where you have carpenter bees. You're just going to have to be aware of it, and you're going to have to keep your eyes open and look for them. And when you see them, you swat them down because they will eventually destroy your structure. So anyway, just figured I'd share that. And if you ever had any experience with carpenter bees, your nightmares, share your nightmares. I'd be really curious to read about it and read what you have to say about your carpenter bee nightmares. I know I have my share of stories, so share your stories below, comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.